Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. Uh, just got done with lessons for the day and just wanted to come to the kit and kind of decompress and play some stuff and just see what happens. But uh, also I wanted to do a little bit more speaking in this video and um, just give my appreciation for everyone that's, you know, subscribed or giving me all those encouraging comments and uh, the ones for the kiddos too. Um, I'm so appreciative of that. That's really where my heart is, is um, trying to pass it on and, you know, try to share the joy of, you know, the instrument and percussion uh, with kiddos and people, you know, of all ages, of bad students of, as young as two years old, four to four years old, um, you know, up to in their 40s. Um, so, you know, it just depends on what people are kind of looking to get out of it, um, what music they like, that kind of stuff. But, you know, I've just, uh, I've so, just, I've loved the experience of meeting all of these different people, um, sharing the joy of the instrument with everyone, uh, getting to see these kiddos, you know, uh, experience the joy, have fun, we're playing back and forth, um, experimenting with other instruments. Um, so I'm just so grateful to, to have, you know, and blessed to have the students that I do. And in addition to all of you, um, and thank you so much, I wanted to let all of you know um, that I went ahead and I just uh, decided to invest in a Studio Studio. So I just got a pair of um, Shure KSM 141s. Um, they're uh, unidirectional and omnidirectional um, in one mic for overheads. And then I also got a pair of Rode uh, NT5s, which are also meant for overheads, but I found those at a great price um, in mint condition used. Uh, then I got uh, some lesser quality ones too that are uh, larger diaphragm. So to catch more of like the highs and stuff, because the KSMs are, are known for kind of rolling off the highs um, and having a good low, but um, kind of a, you know, just a true sound in, in a good way. So, um, but then I got a PGA 27, sure, PGA 27, um, which is more, you know, uh, meant, to, it's a large diaphragm and um, condenser. So a uh, car, difference of cardioid and condenser, I have XY, um, and then now I have some more microphones, and then I just got the stands for them, and the cables arrived uh, today, but uh, Jay has them down in San Diego. So just letting everyone know that um, uh, beyond the Yamaha EAD-10, so that's capturing the sound from the center of the kit, which is really cool because that's how they used to do it back in the day, you know, was just put like one or two microphones in the center of the kit, uh, to capture the sound from the center, which sounds very different than if you're capturing the sound from the room, uh, which gives that airy sound, we, you know, we say that airy sound, because you're hearing kind of the, the room acoustics, um, and with the mics I got, I, I can use them omni too, so that the, you'll hear more of the room acoustic, or I can make them just cardioid, you know, different patterns, and then that way they'll just pick up the instrument itself that it's faced on, um, so, just uh, different options that we can work with. Oh, and then uh, a couple uh, SM57s too, some, so some basic sure SM57s. And then I also have an Audix T, uh, T40, which is a, it, it's kind of a test mic, but it's omnidirectional and actually sounded pretty good when I just put it in front and used that by itself. Um, so, using a combination of the EAD with the overheads, with uh, the individuals, and got the interface, um, got a Behringer interface that's over there, and running uh, a dot over there with the computer, and then everything's coming out through the actual, p for, from the PA. So all the playback that we're hearing, I don't have you know small, really nice studio speakers as of yet, but we're using those monster <laughs> PA speakers as our playback speakers, um, and we're able to record stuff and that, literally that, five minutes later, I have a track ready. Um, and I have uh, all uh, isolating and talk back, you're going through the headphones, so you're hearing yourself, plus you can play to a click, 
people can send you tracks and then you can play drums to them. Um, so if someone's playing guitar or whatever to a click and just lets me know the BPM of it, then I can just listen to what they recorded to that click and then come up with a drum groove for it. For, for it. So um, anyway, more possibilities come in and I'm looking at maybe trying to do stuff like fiber or something like that just to uh, kind of broaden and have more fun and play different styles and you know just to, it, really it's not about the money it's just so that I have more opportunities to play and, and experiment with the gear and uh, come up with new creative ideas and that kind of stuff so I mean the money doesn't hurt right but at the same time I'm, I'm just uh, really looking to more uh, broaden also my so social circle of people I know um, so that way just I'm always striving to try to get better so anything I can do to get better, um, I'm all for. And uh, so, yeah, I guess so now I'm just going to play. But Oh, and what I wanted to do really quick was just list off some of my favorite drummers. Um, I know a lot of different drummers do that, but um, I have a couple that maybe some people haven't heard of um, or that would enjoy checking out, um, don't play or that don't listen to that type of music that often. So the uh, first one I'll start with is uh, Mason Gidry. So Mason is spelled M-A-I-S-O-N, and then Gidry, G-U-I-D-R-Y. Okay, so Mason Gidry, phenomenal drummer. Um, another one is Forrest Rice. He's a local cat here in southern San Diego. He's from Rancho Cucamonga, wins uh, lots of uh, drum off contests. In addition, he's in Covet. Uh, I'm not sure if people know of the band Covet, uh, but he's the drummer for Covet. So his name is Forrest, and then last name Rice, R-I-S-C-E. So he's a phenomenal drummer. Those are two that a lot of people don't know about that uh, are great drummers. Um, and then beyond that, um, I'd say Larnell Lewis uh, plays with Snarky Puppy, um, they, they, well, and a lot of different things, but Larnell Lewis, um, love, love his style, love his phrasing, love his ability. Um, you know, all those snarky puppy cats are amazing. So speaking of snarky puppy, then you've got uh, Sput, right? So Sput Searlight, or Searight. So um, if you, Robert is his first name, but Robert Sput Searight. So it's S-E-A-R and then right. So uh, if you look them up, Larnell Lewis and Sput, uh, two phenomenal drummers, phenomenal. Um, and Sput plays in Ghost Note. Um, Ghost Note is another phenomenal band, one of my favorite bands, uh, just because Ghost Note, it's all about percussion. Uh, Mono Neon plays in there, so Mono Neon is a great bass player. He plays left-handed, upside down, and strung upside down, phenomenal player. Um, and the percussionist, uh, Nate from Snarky Puppy is in uh, Ghost Note with Sput, so that's another great band to check out. Um, so Larnell Lewis and Sput, we've got those covered. Mason Gidry, uh, Forrest Rice, and then I'd have to say, uh, of course, Bernard Purdy. Purdy, I love. Um, just he's a character, and he's come up with so much stuff. He's just a legendary player, um, and he's really he's instrumental in. Uh, if you go back in the history and learn his stuff and, and see how he came up with stuff. He grew up next to train tracks, is how he describes it. So that's how he was trying to, you know, get that phrasing of the... And I have the snare the odd one that's in I just, you can see, I just put it up extra high so it has more ring. But, uh, so basically, you know, the... The way he described, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, and he's a character. He likes to sing while he's doing it. You know, Bernard Purdy's great. Love Bernard. Um, the next, I'd have to say, uh, Chris Coleman, phenomenal drummer. Uh, Chris Coleman's great. Uh, the, along with that, Weckl, Dave Weckl, phenomenal drummer. Um, you know, there's just so many, so many, um, you know, Dennis Chambers, 
just, I mean, I could go on for days, but I've given you more than enough. So uh, I think that was like eight or eight or more drummers that I listed off there. Um, but you know, if you check them out, they have really cool and all different styles. Um, you know, and lots of different ways of the way they phrase things and the different chops they use and the explanations they use. So, all right, guys. Well, that was a lot of talking for this video. So. I think what I'll do is I'll just end this video um, and make this a separate one just about different drummers to check out and uh, then uh, create another video just playing something. Okay guys, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, God bless and uh, keep that light shining and uh, keep those chops a flowing and keep those instruments a playing. Alright guys, take care. Happy drumming.